So, by now, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys know, I love weird and wonderful facts about places on Earth, even in space and stuff like that, but one place that I've never really dived into, excuse the pun, is the deep ocean. I've seen a few things here and there, but I've never really delved into it. Well, I did recently, and I got absolutely hooked. <laughs> I'm sure most of you guys know at this point, there is a place on our Earth called the Mariana Trench. But here are a few things that you may not know. The deepest part of our ocean is called the Challenger Deep, which is named after the HMS Challenger, whose crew first sounded the depths of the trench in 1875. Now, it's located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep is approximately, are you ready for this, 10,000 935 meters, or if you're not really quite sure how that kind of works out, 35,876 feet deep. On the 26th of March 2012, James Cameron reached the bottom of the Challenger Deep. And if you don't know who that is, it's the director of Avatar and the amazing Terminator movies and aliens and so many more. And his trip was the first manned expedition to the trenches since 1960. And it's actually not just one either, there's more. In an expedition which was led by retired naval officer Victor Vescovo, who piloted his submarine to 10,927 meters, which is around 35,849 feet deep below the Earth's surface, making it the deepest dive on record. There's actually been a human being that's been <laughs> to those depths. This place is deeper than the highest mountain is tall. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Everest still is the tallest peak. I know things shift and move around all the time. I did see something on that. I don't know the exact science behind it, but I've got some notes here that say Everest is around 29,000 and some change feet tall. The Mariana Trench, once again, is 35,800 feet deep. <laughs> Just think about that. Now, despite the lack of light and somewhat hostile conditions, there are actually living things down there. In fact, there are more than 200 known microorganisms and smaller creatures that are living down there, and more discoveries are being made all the time. Now, I really don't know if you guys care for this stuff, but I was doing a little bit of research and then my mouth was just getting wider and wider and I just kept reading more and more. The most impressive one to me is this. On the 23rd of January, 1960, the US Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and Swiss oceanographer, I think I'm gonna say this wrong, but I'm gonna try, Jacques Picard, descended 35,814 feet to the lowest known spot on Earth 60 years ago. Well, if it was 1960, it's 64 years ago. That's blown my mind even more now. <laughs> With that, guys, welcome everyone to the trench. Recent seismic activity in the Atlantic Ocean has uncovered a trench which is currently speculated to be one of the deepest points on Earth. Odin Corp, one of the leading research corporations, sent a team on board the Neptune to investigate the trench and report any findings. At 1720 EST, contact was lost with the crew of the Neptune. It's presumed that there was an accident and the crew did not survive. A salvage mission was planned and Pandora, an advanced recovery vessel, was sent to gather any remains, data, and investigate the cause of the accident. So I believe that's what we're in. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're in. Look at our little ship. The Pandora. It's gonna be setting out. Into the unknown. What's all this business? Warning, observe precautions when handling. So the model of this is... All systems are working correctly. Okay, I saw that interact button. I thought we could open something up. Lights, terminal, engine. All right, let's get to it. The Neptune might need our help. Oh, we're going to get like a little brief. I wonder what happened to them though. And I wonder how we're actually going to find them. If they're so far down. I mean, the ocean is massive, right? Even if it's an isolated area. Think about, like, the Mariana Trench. Odin OS, welcome. 
Rescue and Recovery Vessel Pandora. This vessel is designed for rescue and recovery missions. All Odin research ships have signal emitters ah, to make okay. it easier to locate stranded ships or to assist the recovery of data parts as a security measure in case of an accident. The ship is equipped with a mechanical arm that functions as a retrieval tool. The arrow in the console indicates the rotation of the ship. Align the arrow with the signal icon to find the objective location. On the right side, an approximate estimate of the objective depths will appear. All parts that have a signal emitter also trigger a sound that you will hear as you get closer. To see the ship controls, you can always click on the controls tab. To see the ship status, you can click on the status tab or click next on the screen. Okay. This is Hammerhead Mission Control speaking. Checking comms. Operator, this mission is complicated. We've uploaded all the info into your console. Follow each signal and retrieve all the parts from the Neptune. Gordon Corp wants to retrieve all available data and investigate the cause of the accident. Try to come back in one piece. Good luck. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear before setting out on a voyage like this. <laughs> Try to come back in one piece. Okay, so we got a little bit of heads-up display. We got the RS Pandora. We've got a little bit of a readout. We got our depth objective out of range. So I guess this is wherever we got to find and investigate. That's when we'll come into uh, its range and it'll tell us. Signal detected. A potential range of 700 to 1100 meters. And we got to keep it facing. Is it this signal? Yeah, I guess it's this one. Okay. Now I did see and I saw then that they just mentioned the arm. This thing. I need to know. We can't move. Oh, that's terrifying. So while this is out. Like trying to grab, I don't know if it's going to be like parts of Neptune or something else, the signal emitters they were talking about. While this is out, I cannot move. So we are completely stranded at the mercy of anything that is around us. Oh, it's slow too. Okay, grab. Oh no, wait. Back. Ah, there we go. Got to make sure you retract that so we can move. Okay, so first signal is between 700 and 1100. Is it this? Wait, how did we, like, change? Ah, there we go. So it is this one here. Got it. That's so weird, like, being able to freely move with the mouse like that and interact with the screen. It's going to take me a second to get used to. We go up like that. We can descend with this. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. A little Pandora. She might not be the biggest ship, but hopefully we'll find out what happened to the Neptune. I'd love to do something like this. I've said it before, and I know a lot of you guys have heard me say this, but if there was... The possibility to go out and do a crazy adventure like this. If the possibility of returning was astronomically high because things have been tested, I know there's always the eventuality of something that you haven't come across, the unknown and stuff like that, but it would be so cool. All right, where are we then? So 450 meters. Wow, we got a ways to go. All right, let's start going down then. And there's no, like, other screens around here either where I can see, like, the rear of the uh, Pandora either, so... Oh. Is that letting us... Oh, there it is! It's right there! So we're right underneath it. Wait, let's go up. If we got it... Close to it? I'm waiting for this to change, or if it's gonna... Oh, there we go. Objective in range. Oh, it's really, really, like... <laughs> It's going to be specific. Okay, let's move over this way. And now I have no controls of the Pandora apart from the arm. That's it, so... Come on, let's make it quick. There we go, and it lit up green as well. Grab. Nice! And it comes back in, it retracts on its own. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log found. Playing now. This is Captain Collins with the Neptune crew. We are the first to explore this trench as part of an Odin Corporation endeavor. We're glad to have the opportunity to see this before anyone else. We still wonder why Odin only sent one party to investigate. So far, we've descended 400 meters. The trench seems extremely deep, but it's unknown how an earthquake in a supposedly non seismic region could have created this. Interesting. Nicely done. We got all the data from that part. Keep looking for the other parts in your console. Roger that. <laughs> right, let's go. Do we need to... Okay, there we go. Switch back to this so we can see. So our next signal 
is between 1,000 and 1,200, and we need to spin it around, so we're matching this. This is cool, though. It's a really cool way of, like, retracing the steps of the Neptune and working out what happened to them. I'm sure it's going to get chilling at some point where you hear the screams of the Neptune or something going... Te A whale? That is a whale. Oh, look how cool that is. I'm not entirely sure what type of whale that is. I want to say... Oh, that's a dead giveaway. Okay, so that's a humpback whale then, right? Are they the ones... Oh, no, you know what? I actually watched something the other day. Oh, no, I can't remember the name of them. Is it a beaked whale? I think it's called a beaked whale. Oh, I'm going to be wrong with that, and I know you guys are going <laughs> to gonna hammer me in the comments but i think i'm pretty sure it's called a beaked whale which can descend to cr oh crazy depths every time there's like an audio change it freaks me out okay oh we're at 2000 okay no 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 we need to go back up getting way way ahead of myself i didn't keep an eye on that <laughs> let's go back up so between 1000 and 1200 so yeah we were way past it my eyes are fixated out here as well, just in case we see something moving. So yeah, we want to slow it down. Come on. Keep going. Want to get to that 1200 mark. And start to slow down. Is it going to be over here? Oh, I see it. It's there. I just saw it blinking just as I moved the mouse. All right, let's get over there then. I'm going to try and be clever with this and stay near the rock side so I can see what's going on over this side. Oh, it's a lot harder than it looks, I promise. <laughs> Come on. Wait, I've lost it. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, let's spin around this way so we can see anything coming. What is that one? That's totally different. Still out of range. Oh, there we go. That was it. Right there. That's the sweet spot. Okay, that's really awkward. Activate arm. And then down a little bit. I don't know what these things are. Like, they, they keep flying towards the uh, the front of the Pandora, and it's really distracting. A little bit further this way. Wait. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> What's going on? There we go. Grab. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log found. Playing now. We are about to reach the 800. Oh my God. We found some schools of fish and some sharks, but the thing puzzling the crew is their behavior. They seem erratic, as if they were fleeing from something. Dr. Ramirez thinks it's related to the seismic movement, but we aren't completely sure. We will continue to report any findings. Batches have been uploaded. Still no conclusive data of the cause of the accident. Keep looking. Wow. <laughs> that could have been so bad. I was just about to take a drink of water. And I'm not joking, you guys. My hand almost cramped and then let go of the bottle out of fear because of that stupid shark. That was a great white, too. It was a big boy. Right, let's go this direction and bring status back up okay so we want to rotate around this way and we got now 1600 to 1800 so again we're not too far away with this oh look at this did you hear what they just said as well it seems like the animals were fleeing from something that's never good that is just yeah that's the whale carcass a little octopus over there as well i say little that thing that we just collected was massive so maybe it's actually a lot bigger. Yeah, that's huge. I'm not going near you. I already know what you're going to do. Nope, don't do it. <laughs> Please don't do it. Right, let's go. Nope, no, no, nope. I can't move while I'm like that. I think I can see it. It's just above this section. There you go. Come on, easy does it. First time. Come on. Gentle movements. Yeah, it's, it's way bigger than it looked. There you go. That's what we want. Activate arm. Oh, okay. These fish are getting way bigger than I think they should be. 
Come on, come on. Down. Oh, please change green. There we go. Grab. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log found. Playing now. We are now at 1,500 meters. Several new species of fish and cephalopods have been identified. I hope we can name some of those. Dr. Roswell will be very happy with these results. That's really cool. So they're, they're kind of taking note of everything they're seeing too. Is it these guys they're talking about? Maybe. All right. Status. Let's back up a little bit. And we'll spin it round. Could you imagine what you'd find at these depths of the ocean? I mean, in relation to like how far things go, this isn't even that deep, but I mean, for humans it is, but I'm sure what we're about to experience. So 21 to 2600. I'm not actually sure how far you need to be. Well, I guess it's here now. So what, 22,000 meters, I guess, before light stops penetrating deep into the ocean. That's when shit gets real. <laughs> That's when it becomes full nightmare mode. So 21 between one, 21 and 26. All right, let's... No, back up. Let's go up a little bit. Oh, I'm so scared to go forward because that is just pitch black. Yeah, let's, let's try and get 24. Oh, there we go. That's what we're supposed to find. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just, oh wait, I think we may have something off the Neptune. What's that? Oh. I don't see it. But it definitely came into frame then. Down here. There we go. This is really nerve-wracking though. The fact that you've got to be so precise to get that arm working. And then you are immobile when this arm is in play. Like, I cannot move now. I've got to get this in quick. Come on, down. That's good, there we go, grab. We're gonna find out what caused this whale graveyard. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log found. Playing now. Around the 3,000 meter mark, we lost contact with mission control. We're only navigating with our instruments now. Without any data from the mission control, our options seem very limited. But as this is the opportunity of a lifetime, we'll keep going down as much as we can. Endor, we're having problems. Yep, there it is. So, are we effectively on our own now? Seems like the radio's down. So signal detected. So the next one's going to be 32 to 3400. And this is right within the range where the Neptune reported problems with their comms. What is that? Wait, no. Is there another button that you can use for that? I think there is. Because every time I press the spacebar, it activates that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we can use that one. And I think that is just the same thing. Is that an open in there? No. All right. Try and get back on target with the uh, the signal. Oh, you have to feather this thing so hard. Okay, wait, let me just... I'm approaching this from a different angle. There we go, there we go. Objective in range, activate the arm. Oh, it really does make you nervous because you're just out in the open. <laughs> Anything could be watching us now. Down, 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 down. Please turn green. Nope, more. Up. Is that green? Grab. Yes. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log found. Playing now. We are at 5,000 meters and we have- OH MY GOD! Sunlight isn't hitting us anymore. We are in complete darkness. Our sonar has detected a potential cave system deeper down. What the hell was that? At that point, if you have ejection pods or if you're able to get to the surface, you go. You do not wait. Okay, right, let's see our depth then. So 3,300. So she said 5,000, so that's going to be on our next one. All right, let's spin this around. Did you see the size of the thing that passed from right to left in front of us then? I couldn't quite make out what it was, but it looked like a giant mouth. 
Right, we're facing where the next signal is, and let's go. <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking. You're just listening to what happened to the Neptune, and then all of a sudden, something happens right where you are. All right, pay attention. 44 to 48. Ooh. Things changing colors again. And I imagine this is what it'd be like, too. Like, just... Oh! Reset system from the control panel in the back of the ship. This? I think we hit something. Interact. There we go. Flick. Flick. All good. Turn on main lights. We did that. There we go. Oh my f- I knew those things were massive. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. I caught that right from the start when we saw it near the bones. So did we just hit something or did it just grab us? 4,300 meters. All right. We keep going then. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let's just calm that heart rate a second. Big breath. And we're continuing. We're the recovery vessel. Somebody might need our help. This goes against everything. I'm fighting against everything right now. What I would do, I would be going straight to the surface. But because we need to know what's happened to the Neptune, we're going to continue on. Do we go this way a bit? Maybe it... Oh. I don't know if I just heard pinging then. All right, that's 47. That's 48. Let's go this way. Yeah, he's turning around a little bit, so let's face that. Back up. We can ascend. Come on, give us that ping. Come on. <laughs> Please. Come on. I feel like we're right on top of it. Yep. Come on. There it is. You just have to baby the controls until you're right in the area. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. There we go. Gentle, activate arm. Across. I don't even know what that thing is. They have been different every time as well, these things that we're collecting. The signal emitters. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log. There's no Found. way anybody's going to be alive. Playing now. Even our support systems what? are starting to fail. Do they know about this? We need to abort this mission. We're starting our climb. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that sound? We're starting our climb. Just go. <laughs> don't, don't hang around. Just go. Okay, next one is 48 to 52. Let's go. Let's try and get somewhat online with it. There we go. All right, 48. Whatever the... That thing is massive, and we know it is. Like, I'm not even going to dance around the fact. It sounds massive. Whatever we saw before glide past the front of the Pandora, it was enormous. Wait. No, no, no. Put the arm back in. Oh, no. What have I done? Have I broken everything? An arm back in. I think we're having like electrical problems with the uh, the Pandora at this depth. Okay, well, let's back up. So I think we're there or thereabouts on line with it, but we gotta go up. Please? Because <laughs> I don't want to go to 52 right now. The higher up we go, I think the safer we are. I, s I was gonna say I say that, but whatever it was passed in front of us. Nice. Come on, objective in range. Come on, there we go. Activate the arm. It's like a giant SD card. Come on. <laughs> Get this thing on board ASAP. Nice, grab. We got it. Data recovered. Analyzing. Audio log found. Playing now. Ramirez is gone. The last impact killed him. 
We've taken severe damage. I'm really scared. I don't want to die here. Please let our families know that we love them. We know that Odin will try to cover this up. We're still trying to- <laughs> That's it, the Neptune's gone. So we gotta find the wreck then maybe. 58 to 62. Wow, that's so far down. <laughs> okay. Let's go. So right now we're at 51. I can't imagine what that's like as well. Like knowing there is no escape. I mean, obviously you would just say, Oh my god, what is yeah, this is what we saw before. Oh, How did I get here? Oh, so it took the Pandora somewhere. Like no survival kit or anything? <laughs> okay, we're actually getting out then. I mean, that doesn't look high tech. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I want it to look like, but... All right, let's have a look around then. Ooh, something just flashed. Did you see the size of that thing? And I'm pretty sure it was what we had a glimpse of earlier too. What is that? Is that the bones of one? Oh, that's from the Neptune. It's like one of its turbines or something. Is this where the Neptune ended up? Well, is this... part of it? I don't really care about investigating right now. I need to survive. I don't know where this thing has brought me, but... What is that? Is that a whale? There are some funky noises as well. So many skeletons. Where is this place? Oh, it's the feeding ground of the creature, isn't it? It's its nest! Oh, shit! Just ribs and a load of shit scattered everywhere that it's been picking clean. This thing has been just living off whales and sharks and stupid humans that venture too deep. Oh, there we go. We got something over there. The one thing I will say, because I know I do criticize it all the time. Is that, is that the last data part of the Neptune? Okay, let's go and find that. At least our torch is bright. What is that? Is that a dead one? Oh, they look like scales. Is this part of the wreck Neptune? Thanks for playing. The Trench is a game experience created by a game designer programmer, Dad, and his son. And we hope you had fun playing it as much as we had making it. And we're thankful for the support. I gotta say, for like a short game like that, those types of games where you have to, I guess the sole thing you have to do is investigate and then learn about a devastating like tragedy or something like that to a team. And then she even said as well, 
that they're trying to cover this up. So you know we're expendable at that point, and we've woke something up that is about to just pretty much tear everything we ever knew in half. And I love that. Like, it's so over the top. It's so cool. I actually realized as well that when we saw that eye, I was like, wait a minute, that is enormous. And then the other thing that we had been seeing as we were descending was behind us all along. That's what I got a glimpse of when we got taken to that cave or wherever it was, like it's feeding grounds. But that was really, really cool. And it's kind of filled my fascination with things that I want to find, which I know is such a stupid thing to say, but this was good fun. I really enjoyed it. If you guys do want to see more stuff like this on the channel, <laughs> drop a like below, subscribe if you are new. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.